Oh my gosh. I am done with my run, you guys. It is so windy. My neighbor just called me and told me, oh, I didn't start the car, and told me that the girl's tent blew over into her yard and she has it for me. And it's just like, they have like metal spokes, I think it's called, that keep it, that's supposed to keep it in the ground. So man's technology versus God's creation. God creation win every time. <laughs> but whew, I am done with my run. I did the running towards your goal guided run. I hadn't done that with buckle seatbelt. I haven't done that one in a really long time. And it's 40 minutes long. Ooh, don't strain yourself, Gina. And I went ahead and did the 40 minutes, which took me to about four miles. And I said, why not go the extra mile and get 10K in? So I went ahead and did 10K on there. And now I'm headed home. I'm definitely gonna do some light yoga. Um, definitely gonna do some light yoga, but it is so windy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, pretty bird, pretty bird. So I have to rush home because it's like 1.20 and my son's doctor's appointment is at 1.45, which it doesn't take that long to get there, but you know, I went the extra mile, spent the extra time. So I need to hurry up and get there. And Phil drives faster than me, so I'm sure he'll be on time. But yeah, I had a great run, you guys. I had a great, great run. I was really struggling in the beginning um, because I have my my new shoes that I told you guys about that I did like a little review on, the Super Reps, Super Rep 2s. And they're still new. This is like my third time running in them. So at the beginning of the run, I just had to really get warmed up. My, my pace and my cadence had to get used to the feel of the shoe, if that makes sense. And once I got warmed up, you know, I felt pretty strong the entire run. Just tried to focus on my, tried to focus on my running form. Um, tried to focus on, you know, making sure my arm swing is there, making sure my foot placement is there, running past any thoughts, like a little boop of like anxious energy came up because I thought about somebody and then I just had to run past it. I just was like, no, you're going to leave that in the past. Um, a hill song song came on that says, I won't look back any further than your cross. And so as I was running, I just imagined myself like leaving it at the altar, leaving that situation, that person at the altar and just running on ahead. And then towards the end of my run, I started to think about the fact that God has brought me a mighty long way. This journey in running has really been a journey in my relationship with him. Um, because when it started out, um, I was a very weak runner. Um, I didn't have control of my thoughts. Um, I was a very fearful person. And now just looking back on everything, it's like he has really brought me a really long way. God has really brought me a mighty long way. And just even running on the treadmill. I remember when I first started going to the gym when I first got my membership, I was so embarrassed to run on the treadmill, y'all. Like, at first, I wouldn't do it. And then I was like, well, I really want to. And this was when I started that inner dialogue with God and my prayer life. And I would just admit to him, like, I'm afraid. Like, I'm embarrassed. I'm afraid of what these people are going to think about me. And that's when he just put his might behind me. He just put his glory behind me. And he said... You know, if you exercise your faith, then I'm going to come along and my glory is going to bump you along and push you along and just build your confidence. Let me have your confidence. Have confidence in me. And that's how that this journey, you know, has gone. And when I first started running, I looked back to my running pace. I was like low, like 19 average pace. And just imagine what that looks like on a treadmill. It looks extremely slow. And so the entire first run that I did on a treadmill was a prayer. It was a prayer about 
how um, I was just lacking in confidence. I was embarrassed, um, just praying like, Lord, just help me not to fall. Like, please, Lord Jesus, you said that we will run and not stumble. We will walk and not go weary. So it was just really a prayer like, what are you doing on this little bitty street? It was just a prayer like, please help me not to fall. Please help me to just keep running. You know, Lord, just I put my confidence in you and just saying thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? And every time I exercise faith, every time I just went ahead and put one foot in front of the other, you know, I was blessed. And now looking back on it, I've made such progress. And I'm only saying that to say to anyone that may watch this video that is struggling in any area or you think you're not making any segue, you're not making any progress, you are making progress. You are better than you were before. You're better than your yesterday. You're better than you know, two years ago. And so just keep fighting, keep moving forward, keep running your race. And one day you'll look up and you'll be like, wow, God has given me the desires of my heart. You know, just try your best and that's all you can do. And just take everything one day at a time. Though that's that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you guys are blessed. I hope that, you know, everything is going well with you for this week. I hope that you are in good health, good mental health. Here come my baby. Let me lock the door so I can end this real quick. But I just want to remind you as always, you bless. I love you. God bless you.